All right, now to Venezuela, where the socialist country's electoral body says Nicolas Maduro has won re-election. Voters from the opposition party showed dissent where they could. At the country's capital, demonstrators banged pots and pans for more than an hour. They had hoped the opposition candidate would end 25 years of socialist rule. Instead, Maduro appears set for another six-year term despite widespread reports of irregularities. The United States is among those expressing concern. We have serious concerns that the result announced does not reflect the will or the votes of the Venezuelan people. It's critical that every vote be counted fairly and transparently, that election officials immediately share information with the opposition and independent observers without delay, and that the electoral authorities publish the detailed tabulation of votes. Now for more analysis on Maduro's controversial victory, we go to Aussie Prensa political expert Andres Enriquez, a native of Venezuela. Andres, great to be with you today. Um, we just heard that soundbite from U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who said in part the result announced does not reflect the will or the votes of the Venezuelan people. Your thoughts on that and what are you hearing regarding the election results? Thank you so much for having me, Tracy. Um, indeed, I think that international pressure is a great support for the cause of freedom for Venezuelans. However, I think it is not enough. During the administration of President Donald Trump, the United States imposed harsh sanctions against um, Maduro and different leaders of the Chavista regime, but they somehow managed to survive and to remain in power. So I really do think that international pressure is very helpful for us, but indeed, uh, more forceful actions are needed. Andres, for those who may not have been following this election or politics in general in Venezuela, why was this election so important for the people there? Um, so the situation in the country is very complicated and delicate um, at the moment, uh, and the tension in the streets is rapidly increasing. Yesterday, uh, Venezuelans dem demonstrated their democratic spirit by voting massively throughout the day. Um, all projections and serious national and international polls um, gave Edmundo Gonzalez a wide advantage against Maduro. But at the end of the day, the Venezuelan uh, electoral uh, body, which is controlled by the regime, um, communicated very different uh, results from what Venezuelans express um, with their votes. And today, the same uh, electoral body proclaimed Maduro the winner. Um, without publishing definitive results and with any transparency. And this has caused uh, spontaneous and major uh, protests in many cities of the country, which are quickly escalating in intensity. So um, this is a crucial uh, time for Venezuela. And what uh, will happen from here is unknown. Um, the fact is that the great majority of Venezuelans, which in fact repudiate Maduro, and the Chavista regime is waiting for Maria Corina Machado's instructions. Um, the leader of the opposition, which yesterday um, expressed her intention to defend the victory um, until the end and to the last consequences. Well, I guess we're going to wait and see what happens. Andres, thank you so much for your insights. We really appreciate you coming on. God bless. Thank you so much for having me.